Landscape photography is not stressful, is it? It's the complete opposite of that. Although there can be moments when it can be. So when you're rushing towards a sunrise and your equipment's letting you down and the sun is coming up and time waits for no man, the other thing that can happen is that you can get distracted by other scenes that you can see that you hadn't thought about. So this week's video is going to be about why landscape photography can be stressful. Good morning and welcome to uh, the study at Glencoe. The study's that way, I'll show you the view in a minute. We've got three sisters behind you and this is looking out over. Um, the other side of this mountain is the Buckle and Glen Etty, if it's down that way, that's where sun's coming up. We're going to shoot that tomorrow and explore Glen Etif, but today I'm at the study and there's a lovely boulder, a cairn of rocks, a little tombstone up there or a little cross up there but we've come for sunrise uh, it's been okay we've only got one cloud in the sky really at the moment i have shot a picture and i'll show you that in a second i also have shot one on the way up and i'll talk about that in a second but what i'm waiting for now is um got about half an hour of good light i'd say maybe an hour this time of year everything's quite low the sun's quite low so you get an awful lot longer to enjoy the clouds and there's some nice clouds above the left hand side three sister i don't know what it's called i'm really sorry i should know i'll put them when i put the picture up i'll try and show you all of that there's some nice light through the valley um that valley has got a name as well uh, and if you want to know more about the geology go and have a look at a guy called Glencoe Photography, Carl, um, who I think someone told me runs a cafe somewhere around here and he's brilliant, his photography is really good and he's inspired me to come up here again and to see more of the sites. so thanks Carl for that. Um, some nice clouds over here, I just want them to come across here and this could end up being a portfolio image and I haven't had one of those for a long time it feels like I've not had the light um, if you saw last week's video we had some lovely light yesterday morning absolutely gorgeous really enjoyed yesterday we had a nice sunset as well um, plan today is to shoot this shot this is the shot I want to get and then we're going to walk back to the car and there's another shot with a tree and the river co which I've also seen and I know we parked right next to it so it would be rude not to do that um, and then maybe something else we'll see what else we get um, the way back and then we're going to have an afternoon getting ourselves back together um, organizing ourselves because photography can be well it's very stress-free it actually is the very opposite of stressful but days like today can be a bit because stressful because you want to get to the location on time so you've got time to think of if you've not been there and scouted it out before you don't quite know what you're up against so that can be a little bit kind of oh, have we got enough time um we had things like road closures which actually didn't happen but that was a bit of a worry as well so all of these things and sometimes you know you have to just change your plans mid plan because the light's not right or you see something better and then that's the stressful bit do you do you move or do you not or do you stay with oh, i don't you know so I often find the best thing is to stick to the plan. Now, I shot this picture, I'll show you here, I shot this picture on the way up because I really loved the light over that far mountain um, and I just kind of saw the composition. It's quite a different sort of composition, so I thought that would be interesting to shoot. And it was a question of, do I stop and be late for sunrise? But actually, that's where the light was, so I'm quite pleased I did that. And now the clouds are now coming over, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to film it. I'll do a little bit of my, uh, time lapse for you. Um, I've photographed this lovely scene with the study and the study boulder in the foreground, which looks fantastic. 14 to 30 lens on, 14 mil pretty much. Um, and we'll see if we can't get a portfolio image. Enjoy the time lapse. I'll put some footage up and I'll come back to you in a second. I'm not afraid of losing what I found If all the fallen pieces hit the ground 
some clouds that have come over and look better some lovely light kissing off some of the mountains there it's beautiful we've lost the pink light of early sunrise but <coughs> excuse me the sun is still looking great still some lovely light in the valley or at the end of the valley there on the opposite side here so what we're going to get now is some light coming onto the this side of the valley which you can't see at the moment which might light up as the sun rises but it looks fantastic what a place to be isn't it great absolutely wonderful if you come to Glencoe this is the best view of the three sisters which are those imposing mountains that you drive past and this could look lovely in really moody stormy weather although I'd imagine the experience of photographing up here is very very different so having a great time I'm hoping you can hear me all right I don't think there's too too much wind noise about but it's just a wonderful day so I'm going to shoot this different viewpoint uh, and I'll put this picture on the screen now and I lay down everything every part of me I'm yours. So as you can see, we've got some light now coming over the top of these three sisters through the valley and on top of those mountains over there. Um, things look amazing. Really, really happy. We're going to move down now. I think the light's almost kind of at its been its best. I don't think I'm going to get anything in extra from here. So I'm going to move down now to the road where, they have, where the house is um, and shoot the river. And I'll talk to you when I'm back there but what a lovely morning I hope you've enjoyed it so far I certainly have so we're here at the Lone Tree the car is just there <laughs> literally just there um, and it's a beautiful beautiful location the idea with this it's a bit of foreground interest in the river here so I've used a, a polarizer and a four stop neutral density filter just to slow the water down a little bit and then we get the Lone Tree and the idea is really that you don't Get it overlapping the mountains in the background. It's got the three sisters and the cloud. Um, shot looks nice, it's worth doing. The light's getting a little bit harsh now, but um, I've had a really good time today. I've really enjoyed being up at the study. Don't think it's as hard as I thought it was going to be. So, actually, I'm going to go and visit that again. And, and that's the thing with photography I get really stressed thinking I'm going to get a photograph. Am I going to get anything? Is it going to be decent? All the planning do you swap? Do you go somewhere else? I think what I've learned over the years is to stick with the plan, go and do what you're doing, and if things don't work out, there's nothing you can do about it. If the weather's not right, then you just have to come back. And that, in itself, is a great thing, because who would not want to come back here and shoot over and over again? And I think part of me is thinking to myself, well, I've already got that picture, but actually, you know what? Every single day, and I've said this before, every single time you come, it looks different. Um, yeah, and I'm sure we can shoot this in better light. It look really good in moody light. Um, next time coming up to Benko, it's definitely stop off here if it's rainy and misty. And, <laughs> but we're never happy, us photographers. You know, I, we, Gary and I were saying, oh, the snow looks nice. Shame it's not moody. <laughs> but it could have been. We were going, oh, shame there's not some light. So you just kind of take what you got, you know, just enjoy the fact that photography's great. You catch these lovely images, takes these to some wonderful places, uh, and we're very lucky to be out here. So, thanks once again for Gary for driving us here. I'll put links to Gary's channel down below and to Carl's channel as well, and go and check him out because uh, stuff around Glencoe, he knows all the history. Enjoy whatever you're doing, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Um, when next time next week we should. If everything goes well, we should be photographing something called the Cauldron and going down to Glen Etiv. And I'll talk to you also at some point about how to shoot panoramics. So until then, take care. See you soon. Here come the images.
Goodbye. I'm not afraid of losing what I've found If all the fallen pieces hit the ground I see it in your eyes My lover and my bride I love to steady tide A story speaks and silences my love The wind may blow, but he has built this house Your voice so soft and strong My husband all alone I love to study so And I lay down everything Every part of me, I'm yours Oh, through everything here we stand Hand in hand, I'm 